celebrate somebody's special birthday soon. Who is that? Jesus, that's right. Do you know that God made a promise to Adam and Eve to take, that someone would come one day to take away their sin? And today's memory verse talks about how God fulfilled that promise 4,000 years later. That verse today is from the book of Luke. Now, you remember the New Testament books. Let's talk about it. Matthew, Matthew Mark, Mark, Luke. The third book of the New Testament, chapter 2, verse 11 says, For unto you is born this day in the city of David, a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. I'm going to go ahead and put that verse up here. Why don't we say it all together? For unto you is born this day in the city of David, a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Do you know that this Bible verse is actually an announcement, a birth announcement? Put this here. And when is your birthday? April. In April. How about you? When is your birthday? April. In April. We've got two <laughs> April birthdays. Well, this baby's birthday is in, well, we celebrate it in December, right? And we give gifts to each other. We talked about Robbie expecting to get a lot of gifts. And we know that Christmas is not all about getting gifts. It's all about Jesus' birthday. Well, I have a birth announcement right here. And, you know, when the baby is born, the father is so excited that he wants to announce it to the whole world. So, you know, probably when you were born, too, there was a birth announcement that was written. And in that birth announcement was the birthday. We talked about your birthday and your birthday. So the birth announcement had the birthday. And so this announcement from the Bible says, oh, I also wanted to tell you too. A lot of babies are born every day, right? But those babies' births don't have anything to do with us unless we have a relationship with the father, with the family. We know them, we love them, and we can be excited about their birth, the baby's birth. Well... For unto you, the Bible says, for unto you, that means that this baby's birth has, to, has an effect on you and you and you and people who were born at any time, anywhere, this affects them. So for unto you is born, and what's the birthday? Uh, this day in the city of David. City of David. King David was a very famous king, and everybody knew where he was born. And do you know what city that was? Bethlehem, right. So for unto you, it affects you, is born this day. The birth announcement says this day in the city of David. The birth announcement usually says what city the baby is in. In the city of David, a uh, Savior. What is a savior? Do you know? Uh, I was talking to a lady just this morning, and she was talking about how she was swimming in the ocean, and the waves were really, really big, and they were crashing over her, and she couldn't find her way out of the water, and her husband had to come and grab her and pick her up and take her out. She needed a savior. She couldn't save herself from the crashing water. She needed somebody to come and rescue her from that. And maybe sometimes we see stories about someone getting trapped in a building that's burning. And they're on the second floor and they can't get out. They need a savior. They can't help themselves. They can't jump out of the window. So then the fireman comes and he puts the ladder and they can save them. So that uh, fireman saved the child. The fireman was the savior. Well, we all have a much worse problem than a burning building or waves crashing over us. Every single one of us has the problem of punishment of sin, separation from God in a place terrible, terrible. And we can't save ourselves. The Bible says you can't save yourself. So 
so we need a savior. And this is the savior that God had promised Adam and Eve 4,000 years before. Finally, 4,000 years later, the savior is born. And who is that savior? Christ the Lord. Now, look how Christ, Christ means the promised one, the anointed one, the chosen one, the one that God had foretold many thousands of years before. And see how it's written on a Bible? <coughs> Do you know that the Bible had promised this one and had told about this one? He promised, well, he said that this baby would be born in Bethlehem. That's where this baby was. And that he would do miracles like heal the sick, heal the blind, and raise people from the dead. It says it right here in the Old Testament. And it also says that one day he would suffer and die to take the punishment for your sins. He would be the Savior, the promised one. Now, see, Lord. Lord. They didn't know that he would also be Lord. Lord means ruler over all. King of kings. Lord of lords. He would rule over all. And do you know that Jesus, who was born this day in the city of David, who is Christ the promised one, he's the one that was born a baby, lived a perfect life, grew up, did miracles, was crucified on the cross. He took the punishment that you and I deserve. But the best news of all is that he didn't stay dead. He is Lord. Today he is alive. He rose again on the third day. And today he is sitting on his throne in heaven, ruling over all. He is Christ. He is the Savior is Christ and he is the Lord. Now, if you have not yet made Jesus your Savior, the Lord, if you don't believe yet that he is the Christ, the promised one, today is the day that you can tell God, I do believe. I do believe what the scriptures say. I do believe that he fulfilled the scriptures and that he took the punishment sins. And today, I want to make him Lord of my life. Today is the day we can do that. Why don't we bow our heads and pray to God? Dear Heavenly Father, as Christmas comes, we celebrate the birth of the Savior, Christ the Lord. The best present ever that you could ever give us, that anyone could ever receive, is Jesus, your Son, Lord, I pray if there's any boy and girl here today who has not yet made that decision, that today is the day that they will receive the best gift ever, Lord. And I pray all these things in Jesus' name, and everybody said, Amen. Amen. <coughs> okay, so the repetition game that you can play is, um, I got pictures of texting, and this is the recommendation on the iPair. So you can get a picture of a phone, you can get a picture of um, an, an email, a computer, you can get a picture of a written letter, um, or even just an old-fashioned phone, and we would repeat the game. So you pick the picture of the cell phone, right? So everybody get your cell phone and, pre and pretend like you're listening, that you're going to give the announcement on the cell phone. Okay, ready, set, go. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Luke 2, 11. And you can uh, repeat that three or four times using, typing it on the phone, you know, on the computer. But now we're going to sing the song. Um, let's put the music on it. Ida and Linda, come on up. You guys are the experts. <laughs> the memory verse song let me just share this with you if you don't have this yet this is a small um, <coughs> holder for
for our pictures. I got this at Dollar Tree for a dollar and 25 cents. It's no longer a dollar. Okay, so this is, a, this is good for small pictures. Now, I'll do my reverse.